Friends, now we will study details of uh, cell, voltaic cell. A few things which are required for understanding the flow of current through cell. The first thing is internal resistance. You have seen the flow of electrons which starts from zinc, pass through the load, whatever is the load and then it comes to copper and from here they get uploaded on SO4 and they move here. Electrons. Positive charges, we can say positive charges outside go from copper to zinc and then inside they go from zinc to copper. You can say uh, carried on the hydrogen. So, this way. So, this forms electric current this way. Now, in this total circuit of electric current, outside we have this resistance, whatever is load we have given to it. Like we are having a torch, so this is bulb. We are having a fan, so this is fan coil. This may be anything, maybe our mobile, our laptop, whatever it is. But when this current goes inside, it cannot stop the cycle. The complete cycle has to move. Then it goes from zinc to copper inside. And when it goes inside, this path is not very smooth path. It has to strike. It gets some opposition due to striking with different at uh, different atoms or uh, ions. So there is a resistance here and this resistance is inside the cell. We call it internal resistance. So what is the internal resistance? resistance created by solution so it is resistance created by solution resistance to what resistance to the charges which are moving that is understood so this resistance is known as internal resistance is internal resistance okay now r Outside, we will use capital R. This internal resistance on which quantity it depends. This you should know a uh, little knowledge and you know it very well that R is equal to rho L upon A. This is resistance, any resistance. This is also a resistance. So it will increase with path of the length. This is length of the path, this L. So, if the distance between the electrode increase, internal resistance will increase. If area of, area of the electrode which is dipped in the solution, this area, this area, if this area become larger and larger, the resistance will decrease. Uh, you don't get confused, I will write it. Uh, this resistance will decrease if area becomes larger. You can try it. How? If you put the solution up to this much, you will find the resistance has decreased. If you put solution up to this much, resistance has, this A has decreased, resistance has increased. So, area matters. That is why we want our cells and batteries to be filled up completely. We say the water must have dried, push water into it, that car battery. So the resistance become less with area. Then concentration of solution because if it is very concentrated, lot of ions are there, lot of resistance is there. So it depends upon concentration. It also depends upon temperature because if we raise the temperature, what will happen? This is very interesting. If you raise the temperature, what will happen? And it is very controversial also, confusing also. How? If we raise the temperature, then this electrolyte becomes thin. If this becomes thin, then the resistance becomes less. Thin. If it is very thick, it is difficult to pass. If it is thin, it is very easy to pass for the ions. So, with the increase of temperature, what happens? This becomes thin, it is easier for ions to pass through, 
they pass through more and more the resistance has decreased now when the resistance has decreased more current will pass but what is the effect of that if more current pass then there will be lot of heat here so heat generated already the temperature was high the moment temperature goes high the resistance become less the current increase with the increase of current more heat is produced the temperature go further high so the temperature goes high 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 it goes on high current goes on increasing and finally battery is damaged so we should be very particular that temperature should not rise that is why we always keep battery in open place where there is a lot of ventilation we always make sure that this current is remain very small if during charging of your cell of mobile the current becomes high it will get so much heated so what happens to it whatever has happened with the samsung galaxy 7 earlier it was happening with nokia mobiles when you charge it and they make current so high the temperature becomes so high that it blast that is the reason during charging okay so this happens when temperature increase now we will write the factors which affect internal resistance okay see length distance between the plates are proportional to length area area of the plates dipped in the solution r is inversely proportional to area concentration r is proportional to concentration temperature r 1 upon temperature so these are the dependence of internal resistance like any other normal resistance and this is essential part of a cell remember we cannot remove internal resistance wherever there is a cell there is a internal resistance so now on in our circuits how do we show it in the diagram every time we will not make a cell so we will make a diagram like this this shows copper this shows zinc higher potential lower potential and this internal is in series with this so i put a small resistance mark here this now these are two terminals one is this a b this is a and this is b and this is cell yeah this box represent a cell this is source of emf and this is internal resistance r so this is actual picture what i should draw in electrical circuits but sometimes when this internal resistance which is very small compared to external resistance then we omit it and we write the cell like this only by omitting this so both things we are using when we are very careful we will use this otherwise generally we will use this and now we are ready to learn about electromotive force which is a very very important term in electricity so in the next lecture please see electromotive force